Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Wednesday, hump day. And I am gonna do, first of all, I wanna say that I tried last night to do a nail video. I did this little fancy schmancy. Um, I tried to combine the fluorescent orangey color with the pink, and then I got frustrated and just put pink on the ends, and I plan on changing this tonight. I wasn't that satisfied. But I um, positioned my iPhone to where I thought it was getting my nails. I did the whole thing. I did the cutting my nails. You can see they're short because I really didn't need to cut them. And I showed you how I filed them. I showed you how I painted them, everything I used. And when I went to go cut my iPhone off, it cut on. So the whole time I wasn't recording. And I don't know how that happened because I could have sworn I looked at that. So. I have not forgotten about that video. Um, I will probably have to get to that next week and try to do that again. So I haven't been here since last Friday and the reason is I had some more dental work done. And I told you a couple months ago, I had an implant, a dental implant put in over here. Well, this time I had the exact same tooth, a dental implant put in over here. And both teeth had crowns on them and what happens is over time, and this one had only been on there a couple years, but you know, I was always under the impression if you got a crown, you were pretty much set for a while, but evidently what can happen is you can still get decay and you can still get the corrosion and everything else underneath that crown. And then what happens is the roots get weak and your crown breaks off and it takes the tooth with it. And that's what had happened to me. So not only is it very costly, it is a very <laughs> drawn out, painful um, process. And I didn't ever do a video on the last one because it took so long. Because last time I had an oral surgeon do it. And what they did is they first extracted the tooth, which was a big, you know, major tooth. And it's not a fun extraction because if you can imagine, there's no tooth on the surface for them to grab. So they have to split the tooth in two and kind of just basically dig it out. And the last time I had that done, I swore I would never do that again. It was so painful. I just about passed out, which I faint easy anyway. But when I stood up, I luckily the seat was there and I just about 75% passed out. They had to get me some drink and everything. It was embarrassing. So, and then I went back, I think three months later, had the implant put in with um, just a cap on it no tooth and then i think i went back maybe a month later went to a dentist and had a crown made that snaps on that abutment is what they call it so that i've had that and i love it and that tooth will be there forever okay so then this tooth decided to do the same thing and this time i went with my dentist who is also an oral surgeon and does implants and it's a long story to why i didn't go to him in the first place but so this time I had it done a totally different way. Monday, they put me under, which was a trip because John took me in and when we were signing the papers, when they what they do is they give you that drug, that twilight type drug that puts you, you're not unconscious, but you don't remember a thing. And it was hilarious how they really, I mean, in a serious way, warned you that it's like a truth drug and that you, you know, people just, sing the truth the whole time and that they do things like dancing and just do all kinds of things that they don't remember. And, you know, twice I was warned that it was, you know, that I might, you know, say something I wouldn't ordinarily say. And I just said, okay. I said, he knows everything. I'm an open book. I said, I'm not worried about that. So, but that was just kind of weird because I tell you, if you were a person that had a bunch of secrets, they would have scared you to death. <laughs> So luckily, you know, I don't, I don't have any secrets from anybody, really. I don't can't imagine anybody knowing anything about me that they don't already know. But um, so it went well. That was Monday. And yesterday, Monday and yesterday, I really just rested all day. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, but you can still see that I'm a little swollen right here. And um, I'm on antibiotics, um, that prednisone type thing, the pack where you take X amount before breakfast, X amount after, and all that kind of stuff. And um, I've got hydrocodone, but I only take that, I've only taken like three of those because they really, 
they do help a lot, but they make me itch. So then I have to take a Benadryl, long drawn out story. So anyway, I've got a temporary crown on now and I'll go back next week for a checkup and then I will not get my real crown on. I'm not sure how that goes. It's a, it's a totally different process this time. But what is really amazing to me is I am not supposed to eat on that tooth for three months. Three months, so okay, yeah, that was right done. Um, so anyway, where was I? Rambling on about my implant. So um, that's where I've been, and that's why if you see my jaw looks kind of swollen. Oh, I haven't had on makeup for two days, and I've been in the bed. And uh, my poor kids, you know, kids hate to see their mama sick and you know laid up. So they have been just so sweet. Oh gosh, matter of fact, I um have a list of things I want to talk to you today and when I turned the page Brooke had written me a little note oh isn't that the best I just love it so anyway that's what I wanted to do today is do some questions and answers basically answer some questions that I have been asked so much and I really want you to know that if you leave me a comment or send me a message I never am avoiding you or ignoring you on purpose it's just, I have a full plate, and some days I just have to say, I can't do YouTube today. I can't, you know, film or answer a bunch of questions today because I need to clean my house. I need to do things with the children. Matter of fact, I'm going to do my Friday video tomorrow because on Friday, I'm going with Will's second grade class to a farm, a local farm here that has all kinds of animals for them to pet and stuff, and we have to leave at 8.30. I'm one of the moms going, and... Um, so I thought that might not be a good day for me to do my video. So I'm going to do it tomorrow and then I'll upload it on Friday. So um, I thought I would do some, just answer some of your questions today that I have been getting a lot of and maybe that will help. So the first question I want to answer is, sorry, I'm scratching my ankle. Um, the first question I want to answer is about my new Ray-Bans, which I adore. I have not worn anything since I got these and these are much sturdier. The, see how the sides are like real sides and they're not that little teeny wire piece? So I have been cheating and actually been able to put them in my hair when I walk in a place. And they haven't really been catching. This part hasn't really been, you see it caught a little bit, but not to the point where it just rips. Let me see this get back there. Not to the point where it just rips my hair out like some other ones do. So that has been a plus. And I just love them. And the mirror design just kind of is reminiscent to me of the Michael Kors catalog. I really like that look. So, um, and they're polarized. I am going to give you the number because everybody says you can't find them. They're RB3386. And I'm sure that's probably the number, but I'm going to go ahead and read you these other numbers. 004 slash 8267, like a little box that looks like a D or a... Oh, but it looks like a box, 1-3 and then 3-P. But I'm pretty sure RB3386 would probably be the code. It says Ray-Ban made in Italy, polarized on the other side. So I hope that you can find these. Um, like I said, I got them off of the like scratch and dent section of Sunglass Hut. So maybe Sunglass Hut carries them and maybe your Sunglass Hut would have them. And if you get lucky, maybe they're on the scratch and dent. Okay, so that is that. The next question is about my handbag. Okay, so here it, it, is, and it is the Balenciaga. This is just the classic city. And you know how black does my face. So the classic city handbag. And on the outside is where I put my, usually put my keys and my cell phone. It is probably my favorite handbag of all times. I mean, the Louis Vuitton Speedy is also one of my favorites, but it doesn't have a pocket on the outside. And the Coach handbags, the two Spotlight um, sequin bags, they are my favorites because they are so unique and they, there will never be anything I think I've ever had that I got more compliments on than those bags. This one is more subdued. Not many people are gonna know that it's anything special, but I do and I love it and it's soft and it's wonderful and it's just so versatile. It does have this strap if you should ever need it. I did actually use it the other day. We sat, um, at a table instead of a booth and so I had to hang this on my chair so that came in handy because you can't do that with the speedy 
and um, it has the regular hardware, everything. I just, 10, two thumbs up, 10 all the way, um, and I probably see another one in my future. I would love to have a colored one. I can never decide what color, but I also like that cement and the gray colors. So, um, but I'm gonna enjoy this one for a while because I love it. And so, um, there's that. My next question, and I'm so glad that I'm gonna tell you this because I, I hope I can prevent some of you from getting these, and maybe it won't happen to you, but last Sunday, Easter, which I hope you had a wonderful Easter with your family, we were going to church and I wore just a long, you, you probably remember it, I bought it last year, it's a long lavender um, maxi dress, and it's, you know, cut nice and everything, it was perfect for Easter. And I wore my little white jean jacket over it because it was a little cool that day, and I decided, oh, I'm going to try those Spanx, those little light Spanx shorts. And I don't even have them because they are in my car to return to Dillard's because they were useless. I put them on and I thought, oh, I like these. You know, I like that they weren't just so tight. They were very smoothing. But just as soon as I bent over, they did the roll down. And I don't know if it's because of my tummy or you know what, but that is a deal breaker for me. I cannot stand that. I can't stand that with pantyhose, with a slip. I have a slip that does that, that I got rid of, um, that had like a lace band, and every time it would just roll down. So I immediately took them off, and I'm gonna try to take them back to Dillard's. I don't know if they'll take them back, but if they will, I am going to exchange them for some more of those bralettes that I was telling you about, which leads to my next thing. So I'll go get those to tell you There's the brand one that's those. in the pack. It's brown and it is in the pack with the pink one, which I love. It's like a, just a bright fuchsia pink and I wore it underneath. Um, the day I had my implant surgery done, I, um, which by the way, if, for those of you that don't know, an implant is where they literally drill a hole in your jawbone and put a metal um, screw type device in there and the reason I have to wait and not bite on this for three months is because you have to wait for your bone to heal around that implant so it's permanent um, so it is it was it's a complicated little thing but anyway here it is and it goes can go like this but the way I've been wearing it is like this and they are phenomenal I love them I do take the padding out um, just because, probably for comfort more than anything else. And um, I get the medium large. Um, and of course, it is not gonna have the brand name on here. So I'm hoping I can go find a tag. Um, but here is what they look like. I wonder if I still have the tag out here in this mess of mine. Okay, that was a fail. Looks like I don't have the tag that goes with it, but when I go to Dillard's today, I will either get some more or find out the name and I will put it right here so you'll know it when I edit this video. So, love these. Um, and if you cannot find them, I can get some and put them on my website if you want me to. Okay, Rachel K. Rachel K. I've got it on today. They have contacted me again. A new person that is in charge of operations and I told them I am still interested in selling their product so hopefully within a couple weeks I am going to I'm going to start off with instead of carrying their whole line I think I'm going to start off with the um, CC cream sorry I have so many things going through my head today I don't know what it is I think I'm excited that I feel better but um, I am gonna carry that, and they have three different colors. Today I have on the neutral, and a lot of times I wear the most fair color, the darkest color. You know, if I was really trying to match my skin, I would probably like that, but I enjoy putting my classic beige over it. So, um, so I'm real excited about that. And then, I've already told you about my nail care video, and then I have a question for you. And I've asked you this before, and you're gonna think, we tried to tell you, but I wanna ask again because um, I was scared to get it, but the Clarisonic Normal Skin Head. Okay, I've always used the Sensitive because that's what it came with. And I went to get a new, you know, head the other day, and when I was reading the Normal, it said for body, I don't know, it said something that made me think it might be too abrasive for my skin. 
So I ended up getting the sensitive skin again because it says for, I think it says for normal to sensitive skin. And I figured, you know, since I use Retin-A and stuff like that, which I do intend on doing a whole video dedicated to Retin-A because I feel like I know a lot about it by now. I've been using so many different ones and using it for so long. But, um, but what I have noticed is even the day after, like this morning, last night in the shower, I did my whole face with the, with the Clarisonic. And even this morning, my face was still flaky in some of those areas. And I was curious, do you think I should just try the normal and see if it gets rid of those flakies or do you think that's just normal and that's gonna happen? So there goes my question to throw out to you. And I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day and I've got so much exciting stuff going on that I wanna tell you about. One of them I'll tell you after I do my so outfit. Today I have right on some new stuff that I got at Oliver last weekend and um, I hit a good sale. And so the jeans I have on are new and I love them. One of the reasons I like them is because they're kind of a faded black. So I feel like I can ease them into the spring and I just love them. They fit wonderful and they are Joe's jeans and they are the Micro Flare ASR 29 and they were regularly 194 and I can't remember how much I got them on sale, but I got them a lot on sale. This says 20%, but I think I got them more than that. And um, it says skinny micro flare, wear it with heels, size 29. And then this shirt is a Rachel Pally. And her stuff is like the epitome of, oops, <laughs> sorry. And her stuff is like the epitome of sexiness. And this is the Indra top and it's a medium and it was regularly 136 and I got it on sale and it says 30% off, but I'm not sure. And I've also got this one on my website. And if nobody gets it, I'm going to keep it because it is fabulous. But this top, I tried it on. This is perfect for the person who is not busty because uh, the link I put on this, you can see they don't wear it with a, you know, anything under it. And it just looks awesome. It is just beautiful. I mean, this fabric is so nice. And um, it was regularly 140 and I think I got it 30% off or something like that, but it's a good price. I can't remember, but if nobody gets it, I'm going to keep it. I just thought I would share and I'm going to have to put a bandeau or something underneath it. But so I'm, I'm excited about these and I just love this. I just, I love stuff that fits like this and feels this good. So, okay, so let me I back up. New jeans and I love the skinny flare, the micro flare. I just think that is just fabulous and it's probably pretty good for my shape because I do better in the long flare, you know, jeans. And I have on my bell by Sigerson Morrison. The belt is the Bell Bottom Blues um, belt. I can't remember what it's, oh, below, below the belt, Bell Bottom Blues. Um, and you just saw my bag. So that's the whole outfit. I was feeling, as the t-shirt says, I was feeling a little bit rock and roll today. <laughs> okay, so here goes. This is my, this is why I'm so giddy today. I was contacted by Jenny Bird, and this is her wonderful ribbon she has on her stuff. She is a jewelry designer in Canada, and she is friends with Dean Davidson. And she got my name from him. And she contacted me and wanted to know, could she send me a few of her favorite pieces? And that she loved my videos and everything. And that there was one in particular that she thought I would love. And um, I am going to save that for tomorrow because I like to save some things. So I'm going to save that piece for tomorrow. So um, she is just she is just like you and I. I mean, she is just the nicest girl to talk to. I've had the best time working with her. So I got her products yesterday and it was just such a good time to get them because I was just, I mean, I had been down and out for two days and it just was a bright spot in the day, you know? So this is her card and two of the things that she sent me are two of her favorite coin pieces, which I told her I loved coin jewelry. It says, I cast them from vintage replicas of ancient coins, and these two pieces feature Dionysus, the god of wine, otherwise known as, um, I don't, it's B-A-C-E-H-U-S, I believe. And it says, so fun, right? My, all my girlfriends wear these. We enjoy our wine nights. And this is the ring, and it is gorgeous. I mean, the quality is just gorgeous. 
So there's the ring, and then this is the necklace. I'm sure you guys saw it when I did my outfit. And it's the same. It is so nice. I mean, it's just substantial, nice jewelry. I mean, I love the chain. It's just fabulous. And I love the ring. I hope you, hope you guys can see it. And I noticed on the inside, it's got Jenny Bird on the band. Let's see, the other one does. This one does too, I think, down in there. But um, it is just so neat. And I think that is such a neat thing for us to have, kind of like our girlfriend set. So um, anyway, tomorrow I will show you the other piece. And it came, oh gosh, everything came in a nice box and the other things in here and with ribbon and everything and the prices are good they're uh, very similar to dean davidson's prices which is it's because they're quality pieces and i think that i am going to sell her piece of her pieces on my website so tell me what you think um i'm really excited about it because this is just this is just me all over the place all of her pieces are just gorgeous and um, she was at in New York at the big jewelry show. She said she was right there with Dean Davidson and like uh, Ben Moon and Vanessa Mooney and all this stuff. So I'm so excited. And Jenny, I'm so thankful. This has been like a really bright spot for me. And um, I just love it. It's just so, I love stuff like this that's funky, but still classic. You know, it's somebody that like me, I could wear it. Or if you wore Tory Burch and you know, a lot more, um, classy <laughs> what am I trying to say um, conservative stuff you could still wear you know a lot of her stuff it's just perfect so I'm really excited about that um, let's see the earrings I have on today are just some gold earrings brushed gold that I got at monkeys one of our local boutiques and um, oh the bracelet I have on was a gift I got this week from one of my subscribers and her name is Alfonza and she wrote me a long time ago and said that she was going to make me one of the bracelets like on the Michael Kors. And I'll be daggone if she didn't. She sent me this. And let me go ahead and show and you the these two pictures for my room, which I promise I'm going to get set up soon. And I'm going to show you guys. I've been working on it. Um, so powder and lipstick. And I love this. How pretty. I just love it. It's going to go so good with my colors in there too. And... She also sent me a scarf, which and I love scarves. I'm loving all of my scarves, so thank you. Probably that would look good with um, would look good with my outfit today, matter of fact. Um, and then she sent me this bracelet, which I think is gorgeous. So thank you so much, Alfonza. And she actually has an Etsy site, so I will put the link down below. And I think that's it. Um, I already told you about my nails. They're kind of like a... They're, I'm not proud of them. <laughs> But, um, and the fragrance I have on today is Jimmy Choo because I felt like it went with how I feel today. So you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Thank you for being here with me. And I just love having all you girls to share my excitement about things with. And um, I just love all your messages. And I'm just looking forward to a lot more good times with you. So thank you. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.